everyone. I've got two of the new Urban Decay primer potions for your eyelids today to show you. I've got a Laura Geller new Diamond Dust highlighter. I have that on. And I know some of you have been asking me to do some more looks with the Natural Love palette from Too Faced. I have an update on the cracked mirror situation on that palette as well. And so I'm going to give you a tutorial on what I did with my eyes today from the Natural Love palette. I'm so excited about these eyeshadow primers, said no one ever, except for me. I finally got the two new shades of the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potions in. Um, there is one more that I want to get. It is not out yet. It is a stark white. I cannot wait until they finally get that one out. But I have Fix and I have Caffeine. Now Fix has been out for a little while. And I finally got it. This is a really nice nude primer. And then this Caffeine is sort of a mid-tone brown. I'll show you on the back of my hand. There is another new shade out called Sin. Now, they have one out already that's called Minor Sin. That one's been out forever. But to me, they kind of looked very similar. And they both looked very similar to a Maybelline eyeshadow primer that I do have that I already like. So I thought, I don't want to get Sin. I don't want to get Minor Sin. I'll just stick with these two newer ones here. I think these will be very useful for me. These are more of a matte finish, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. I've always been looking for a good eyeshadow primer that is a good flat matte nude. Not yellowish like the Eden eyeshadow primer potion. Not shimmery, but just a nice flat nude. This is different. This is a matte nude. This is Fix, and it does come with that doe foot applicator. I love this. This is much better than having a squeeze tube of primer. Big flat doe foot. Get your whole area on your eye at once. It's not super opaque. It does have a very matte look and a matte finish once it finally dries. See, it's not super opaque. You can still kind of see my skin through it, but it is much more opaque than their regular original primer potion, which I like this because it gives you sort of a color corrected base to start with before you put your products on your eyes. I do have this on today. This has sort of a drier feel while you're putting it on than the original primer potion. That one has a very um, silicone-y, slidey, glidey feel. This is a lot drier and it, Here's the color called Caffeine. This would be great if you were doing a really kind of a deeper brown eye or a bronze eye, something in that vein. It is a mid-tone brown. It's, it's sort of got a greenish cast to it. That's what it looks like. This is a very opaque color, very opaque. You're not going to have any of your coloring that's in your natural eyelid show through on this. So you could put this on, blend it around. It has a creamy feel, this one. Blend it around and then apply all of your darker browns to it, your darker tones, and I think it would do really nicely. So I'm excited about those two. There is a third one, or a fourth one, I guess, coming out that's called Freebase. It is a white, and they haven't released it yet. I don't know it comes out. I'm going to get it. I really have been looking for a nice white lid base, and I have not been able to find one I like. So we'll try that one out when it comes out. You can see how matte this one has become. Very, very, very matte. And this one here is getting matte as well. So Laura Gell the Laura Geller New Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the color called Diamond Dust. This is a new shade for Laura Geller. A lot of people love her illuminators, her baked gelatos. It comes in many different beautiful colors. There's one called Gilded Honey that is absolutely gorgeous. I have it somewhere in my, in my highlighter drawer. So this is a new shade. And when I saw it online, my jaw just dropped. I'm like, look at this. It is a whitish looking base, but it is a strong strong fuchsia shift. Can you see where some of it has collected here? How fuchsia it gets? Just look right there. That's it. That's the shot right there. <laughs> it is super metallic on. Once again, her baked gelato does not disappoint. This is not a glittery product. That's what I like about this. Extremely metallic look, extremely metallic finish, very smooth, but no glitter. This is not a glittery highlighter. I've got the light turned down a little bit on my ring light so you can see a little better the beauty, beauty of this beauty. Look at that. And you can see the smoothness of it. Smooth, smooth, highly metallic, shine. Put it right over my freckle there. That's not too great. But look at the shine, look at the metallic, and look at that pink shift. I have it on today, and this is how I applied it. 
So you've got that strong fuchsia shift. It is so pretty, blends out nicely. No glitter, even when you blend it out, there's no glitter left behind. I thought it was gonna be maybe a little more um, lavender in the shift, but it's a very strong pink shift. I think it's beautiful. And I love the metallicness, metallicness of it. And I love the fact that it doesn't shear out and show you glitter particles. I don't. So very pretty. Once again, add that to your collection. I believe it's a limited edition right now. It's just on the Laura Geller website. So add that to your collection. I think it's going to disappear pretty quickly. Too Faced Natural Love. I'm just loving this palette. I'm just using it and using it and using it. I've done several different eyes with it. And today I did sort of a pink and brown eye look with a little bit of warmth up over my crease. And I'm going to talk you through that. But first let me update you on the situation. I did get this straight from Too Faced.com and it came in with a shattered mirror. See that? And I emailed them. First of all, I called them. They told me to email them. I emailed them, and two weeks later, I had not heard anything back from them. And I'm hearing horror stories on the internet about how they are not responding to anybody right now because they're so overwhelmed from this new release. They had to get all of these palettes out, first of all. A lot of them, you know, some of them didn't get wherever they were supposed to go. All the usual things that happen when you do a big release on a new product, and they were swamped with um, problems. You know, I didn't get my palette or my palette arrived with a shattered mirror, etc. And that they weren't going to be getting back to people in forever. So I called them and they were very nice. And they took a look at the pictures I had sent two weeks ago real quick while I was on the phone and said, yes, we'll send you out a brand new, beautiful palette. So I'm waiting for that. Um, hopefully that's on the way. Um, so before I get into that, I'm trying out a new trick today. If you really hate wearing false eyelashes, which I do because they're so freaking uncomfortable, this is a new trick. What was I had a pair of eyelashes that were kind of reaching their expiration date. I had worn them several times. They were getting kind of worn out. And I, and I thought I would try a new trick with them that I've heard about. And that is I took the full length piece and I cut it almost in half. Now it was probably about three quarters of the length. I cut on the long end, not on the short end that goes in your inner corner. I cut off part of the long end of the band that goes on your eyelash. And what I did was I applied it so that it was like basically a half of an eyelash band and I applied it halfway along my lashes and it is so much more comfortable. I don't know if it's really giving me, of course it's not giving me the 100% eyelash effect, false lash effect, but I think it's pretty anyway. Can you see where it sticks? When I do that, you can really see um, the difference between having the full band and the sort of the three-quarter band. But it's so much more comfortable. And when I have my eyes open, you can't really tell, can you? I hope you can't tell. I think it's kind of pretty. I think it's it's easier to wear. It's so much more comfortable. And from a distance, you know, and who is going to be up this close in your face anyway? From a distance, it looks kind of pretty, I think. So what I did today on The Natural Love, starting out with my new Urban Decay Primer Potion in the color Fix... I primed my lids and I'm starting and I started to build my crease with the color called Nudie. It is a beautiful crease color. I've used it many times out of this palette already. It doesn't matter what colors you're using. This is a great crease color. When you have hooded eyes like I do, it is important that you build your crease up. You have a very wide crease color going on that goes up towards your brow and not just in your physical crease in your eyelid because when you have a hood and your hood is falling down onto your eyelid like mine does, then you lose a lot of that color that you've put in the crease. You don't see it when your eyes are just normally held open. When you build way up into the crease and then you put something else even on top of that color, which I did today, I'll tell you about that later, you have to build a crease way up, like way up here. And that is why I blend mine up so high. That is where Nudie is a great color because it's a very natural kind of skin tone, shadow color. It's kind of like if your skin is in shadow, that's the color that it might be if you have light skin like I do. Built my crease with Nudie and then I went in to Kittens. Kittens is beautiful. It is a duochrome. It looks lavender in the palette, but then when you put it on, it shifts to a light pink to gold. This one is really soft. It went on so nicely and naturally as a lid color. Really easy to put on your lid. I thought it might be a little too sheer. I thought it might come out kind of sparkly. None of those things. Perfect for lid color. 
Then on the outer corner of my eye, I started to use the color called Chocolate Martini. I love Chocolate Martini. It's such a pretty brown. It just looks like brown velvet. And I pack that in pretty well when I'm um, doing that outer corner. I pack it on pretty good because then you're going to go through and blend the edges. You're going to blend it chocolate martini and then I went in with a little bit of fingers crossed which is a darker brown with gold shimmer in it it's sort of like a really dark espresso whereas chocolate martini is a very chocolate color fingers crossed in the outer corner not a whole lot of that but just again packing it on and then you go back and you blend the edges with a brush that's sort of fluffy or you can even use the brush that you just used i always clean it off on a towel and then i go and I hit those edges with it and just sort of blend those around under my brow i did put the color called heaven it is a matte french vanilla color it's perfect it is so good for highlighter if you don't want to do a shimmery or shiny highlighter highlighter per se that day, you just want it to be kind of subtle, this is the perfect color for that. Then I took a really small wispy brush that I have that I like to do this with. I like to further enhance my crease color by putting another color on top of it. So between the crease color that you had and between the highlighter that you've got under your brow, I put a little line of something that sort of brightens everything up. In this case, I used Honey Butter from the palette. I love Honey Butter. I've used that as sort of a base of a crease color before. It's several times in this palette. It's a perfect matte, light peach and so that kind of just opens that crease up some more makes it more interesting gives it some warmth and gives it a little more dimension and that's I put some of the color called moonbeam in my inner corner that's a really nice neutral champagne liner for my lower lid eyeliner I used the color called spoiled spoiled is a dark brown but it has sort of a plum cast to it Use that mostly the outer um, half of my eyelid, and then I blended from that point in to more towards my inner corner with a color called Don't Settle. I love that color. It's pretty. It's just like one of my... That's my kind of color. I don't know. It just is. And it's a satin. I love satin eyeshadows. Then I applied my half falsies and I was good to go. The color I'm wearing on my lips today is an Amore Matte Lip Cream from Milani. These are so pretty. This one's called Prismatic Touch. So coming up, I've ordered the entire spring line from Jouer. That's on the way in. Got some new pretties from Neiman's coming. Um, Kevin Aquan getting lots of Kevin Aquan coming in right now. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think about the Natural Love palette.